this is the Diatone Roma F35. The 35 is for three and a half inch propellers because that's what these little things are. Now, while other three and a half inch quads on the market are simply scaled up versions of their smaller siblings and all have the same typical build. What Diatone has done differently is scale down the F35's bigger five inch brother, the Roma F5, to create something that is very unique in the segment. There are a few versions of the Roma F35 with the top of the line being the 6S DJI version. All versions of the F35 come with the Mamba F722 Mini Mark II stack, which is DJI plug and play, six UARTs, a barometer, but no black box. You can buy it in analog, as well as the power kit, which doesn't contain a VTX. Handy if you want to put Shark Bite on it. This DJI version comes with the Cadex Polar Vista kit. The Nebula Polar is protected by an aluminium camera cage. All the hardware on the Roma F35 is top of the line, and it's clear this is a very premium quad. Every part of it is put together and designed perfectly, such as the TPU antenna and XT60 mount, which keep both the VTX and the receiver antennas very cleanly mounted. At first, I wasn't very keen on the plastic encasing for the stack, and after having to turtle mode a couple of times on the grass, which kept it clean, I soon became a convert. Now, the star of the show and the biggest difference between the F35 and every other 3.5 inch quad is the Tokka 2203.5 26kV motors. These are not only beautiful, but they provide a lot of power and resolution. Diatone recommend an 850 mAh 6S battery, and if you have a naked GoPro, you're going to need to mount this battery as far forward as possible, otherwise it throws out the center of gravity. Flight performance is also where the Roma F35 really makes a difference to the others. It's not light and peppy like the other quads, and you wouldn't want it to be either. It flies like a 5 inch. It has a lot of oomph and plenty of thrust because of the 2203.5 motors, and they give it plenty of resolution and torque. Because of the 440 gram all up weight, the F35 has quite a bit of carry. You can freestyle this quad because it has the follow through and momentum and is absolutely excellent to fly. I was getting around five to six minutes of flight time as I was flying around this miniature train track field. On the quad was the Hawkeye Firefly, which I was hoping to kill two birds with one stone for an upcoming review by recording the flight on it. I wouldn't record or connect to my phone so I couldn't get it working. The props are Gemfan 3520, which provide quite a bit of thrust. Now you won't be able to use the Emacs Avan Scimitar or the HQ 3.5 inch props because the 2203.5 motors use a 5mm shaft and mount like your typical 5 inch and not the T-mount like all the others. If you can stock up on the Gemfam props when you purchase the quad, that would be recommended because they seem to be sold out everywhere I checked, or at least in Australia. Now the prop noise or sound from the props on other 3.5 inch quads is quite minimal and doesn't really disturb others that may be sharing the area with. Most 5 inch quads scream like an absolute banshee and are very loud. The F35 sound is about halfway between the two. It sounds like you're flying something powerful, but just not as loud. The F35 flies really well, and what goes into making this flight experience so enjoyable is not only the tune, but the flight control firmware that's on it, which is Emu Flight. Now, this is the first bind and fly I've seen come with Emu Flight pre flashed on it, and the Diatone team have also given it a custom tune. The F35 is a great flying quad, and I think it's and I think overall, it's the total package. This is the quad I'm gonna be reaching for more and more when it comes to going out and enjoying my time in the air. The question that does come to mind is, who should actually buy it? Well, if you're wanting to stick to sub 250 grams, this absolutely isn't for you. You should be buying this quad if you want something that flies like a five inch and just isn't as big or disruptive. I'd imagine that if someone had a go at you for flying the F-35 at a park, it would appear to be toy size and cause less problems than a typical 5 inch. If you're wanting something that's going to fly really well and not be as disturbing as a 5 inch, this is for you. 
I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. Until next time, don't forget to send it.